So, as usual, uh, Saturday morning is not a physical class, uh, specifically today because uh, I have a, I receive a special ask from some of you. Uh, so, of course, we do some physics and uh, I will try to uh, answer uh, your question because on Saturday we are not so many. Uh, if you have any question, please uh, ask. Uh, if I could answer, I will do it with uh, pleasure. If not, uh, I will uh, research this week and answer you back uh, next time. Uh, of course, all, uh, everybody can uh, hear me good? Yes? No? Okay. So, so of course, if you, uh, what I will tell you and explain to you today, uh, it's my vision of uh, uh, martial arts. Doesn't mean uh, it's uh, true. There is no true. You have to uh, research for your own uh, uh, true. Uh, okay, today I will give you some, before we start, I explain a little bit, I will uh, give you some uh, fighting tips, uh, but one more time, it was tips who work for me. <laughs> I hope it will work for you. Uh, and uh, also, uh, I really think the new generation, as uh, Agatha and uh, all the new fighters, uh, they know much more tips than me, because uh, my generation was less good than yours. And this is how it works. Uh, I think we were better than the old generation, and now the new generation, new generation is better than us, and it's normal. And this is why Kyokushin is so strong and continue to evolve, and we have to continue this way. And uh, since 10, 15 years, I, I'm specialized now in uh, uh, real life karate, I mean, not sportive uh, part. So that's why my tips uh, are a little bit uh, slow. Okay, let's start. Move. Just uh, move, and uh, I'm really connected with the uh, medical uh, part of uh, martial arts. And uh, I will tell you something who is really relevant in some years. Uh, it's not so good to stretch before uh, training, because the stretching before training can damage your uh, muscle and ligament. So you don't need to do a huge uh, stretching before training. There is absolutely no medical proof it work and give you something. So just jump, move, relax, and as usual, imagine your uh, muscles are like elastic, not like a block, not like a rock, because in Kyokushin we like to be like, I'm really strong. But now, just relax, relax your shoulder, relax your body, and just move naturally. Relax, breathe, exhale. And you are totally uh, relaxed. My body is like an elastic, not like a rock. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, let's do a little bit mechanical movement. I will uh, just use the uh, hoitsuki and no power, no power. Just let your uh, shoulder go than an elastic. Uh, I don't remember which teacher tell you this this week, but I'm totally agree. Imagine you have a stone in the head and you throw a stone away. So this is exactly, I'm here, boom. So just front leg, hoitsuki, same leg, same arm. And I'm moving, boom, boom, boom. And bring back, punch, bring back, punch, bring back, punch, go. Non-stop, boom, 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 non-stop, non-stop and relax, like you're uh, dancing. Imagine you're dancing, relax, enjoy. Just relax, boom, wow. boom, 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 again, boom. And move your hips. I'm sure you're not dancing like a robot. So relax. And punch, 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 punch. Again, 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 again. Again, don't jump too high. Stay connected to the ground. And tie, change the legs. And breathe. And just remember, when you attack, it's like a triangle. 
So it means you attack, continue, continue to move. You attack in the center point, in the center line, not in front of your uh, shoulder, in the center. Center, center, boom, boom, boom. Okay, Giacuski, boom. Giacuski, Giacuski. So now the opposite, opposite uh, punch. Push a little bit on your back leg, come back. The energy come from the ground. So you need to push and then pump, pump the energy from the ground. Boom. And relax your shoulder, relax your shoulder. Relax your knee, hips, shoulder, stone. <laughs> And time. Okay, relax, breathe, and relax. So I will give you a, a tip to uh, uh, if you want to control if your punch and uh, it is good, uh, you can imagine you want to push a car who is stuck and you want to push this car. It's exactly the same idea for the punch. When I finish my punch, my uh, body, my energy are focused on the minimum point with my uh, uh, fist. But now if I imagine I want to push the car, I change nothing from my uh, body position. I'm strong, I'm connected to the ground, I'm pushing the ground, and I can push this car. If you have any movement to do, it means if I'm here, and uh, if I want to push, I need to do this, it means I was not correct uh, position. So every time, he, the fist is the last part of your attack. The most important part is your foot, or your foot. You need to be connected to the ground. If you do like this, it works. But it's not a real powerful uh, uh, fist. It's uh, something surprising, and of course you can knock out. But if you want really powerful, I told you every time, it's like you're a pump. And imagine there is water on the ground. I want to pump this water, so I press, I pump the water, the water come. I hope everybody is see. The water come to my leg, and the water is going up, then the water is pushing my hips, then my hips uh, push my shoulder, then my shoulder send my elbow, and then my elbow, then my fist. So it's a chain, okay? So when you work for yourself, be a control and be sure you are connected to the ground. And even if the front front punch is exactly the same, back punch exactly the same. So some people from boxing or different martial arts, even pushing, like to twist the foot, the front foot. Some other people don't twist. They stand like a sanjin that chi. Doesn't matter. Do what you feel. But try, you have to feel, you have to stay connected and feel you are really powerful. It's like every time I'm pumping, pumping the energy, pumping the energy. And the second the huge mistake I could see, uh, there is many of you who are uh, doing like this. Okay? So every time you are sending your, uh, every time you are going up, you are wasting energy. It's only physical law. My, I want to send energy forward. But if I parasite my movement with the up movement, I divide the energy. So instead of sending 100% energy forward, I'm wasting energy everywhere. It's exactly the same in different angles. When I want to punch forward, if my elbow uh, goes a little bit out, I'm wasting energy everywhere. That's why 
uh, your teacher, and that's why we are doing a million times uh, uh, the Kion to uh, uh, learn to tip the body or to turn around uh, center axe. Imagine an axe from the head to pelvis stuck on the ground and everything turning around. Like, uh, you know, this uh, game. It's exactly this. Okay, I hope it's clear. So now let's do an exercise a little bit uh, fun. Be, uh, be sure there is nothing around you. You can uh, uh, hurt yourself with if you uh, move. And then you will see very difficult. Just put one foot on the ground, one leg up, release your knee, relax your shoulder, look uh, point far away, then close your eyes and stand. And feel what happened inside your uh, legs, how all the little muscles around your knee, around your ankle are working very hard. Only a minute, so it's easy. Minute on the flamingo, flamingo position. All right, close your eyes, keep your eyes closed. This is a really, really, really good exercise to make your body stronger. Specifically, all the little muscles around the articulation. If you do it regularly, you will not uh, have uh, trouble with your ankle or knee anymore. Control, control yourself, breathe, relax, relax your knee. You cannot control your body if your knee is tight. Relax. See it? You know Karate Kid. John Paul will show you the Karate Kid kick. Okay, 15 seconds more. Control, control, control. And relax. <laughs> Agatha, stay with us. <laughs> and relax. Okay, now the other leg. Normally, you feel already a difference between the right one and the left one. So now put your left leg or the other leg on the ground. Take your time. This is not a race. Feel comfortable. Look a point far away from you. If you look a point too close, you will be unbalanced. It's like a ballet dancer. If I want to do a good uh, I need to look something far away. If you look too close, you will uh, waste your uh, balance. So stay. If you feel ready, one leg going up, I'm relaxing my shoulder and closing my eyes and let the body walk. If you feel you are losing your balance, sit on your leg. Fifteen seconds more. As you could see, it's not so Impressive exercise, but I'm sure now you understand how good it is for your body. Okay, relax. Uh, so I suggest you it's something you could do uh, daily. It's uh, as you, it doesn't take place. You can do it at at work, at home, uh, everywhere. It's easy to do, and uh, of course after a few moments your body will be used to. So you will not uh, check anymore. So you make it a little bit more difficult. How you will do this? You will just uh, go on the front part of your, uh, I don't know if you see, on the front part of my uh, uh, foot. Like I'm uh, wearing heel. Okay, imagine I'm wearing heel. 
So my Kakato, thank you, John. My Kakato, don't uh, touch the ground. Okay, so I'm here, exactly the same idea. Then one leg up, then closing my eyes, and now it starts to be a bit more difficult. Uh, you could try, and don't worry, you cannot twist your ankle uh, like this. Yeah, try a little bit, you will see it's a little bit more <laughs> complicated. Even with the open eyes, that's okay. You control, but the minute you will close your eyes, it starts to be uh, more difficult. This is level two. Okay, just for our knowledge. Uh, okay, I will talk a little bit uh, uh, about the psychological side of uh, fight. It's not natural, or it is, but we forget a little bit about that, uh, to fight someone else. Uh, specifically in the game rules. This is a, I will talk a few seconds. Uh, the real difference between a tournament or a real fight, there is no connection between those two uh, way of fighting. Because in a tournament, if I'm telling you uh, guys, in uh, one month you will do the championship, blah, blah, blah. So you will start to train for that. Uh, slowly uh, you will be uh, scared, you will be nervous, you will train more, and many, many uh, processes will uh, happen in your brain. And the, the, the G date, you will be uh, plus minus ready, okay? This is the tournament part. It's a game. Uh, even if Kyokushi and boxing are a bit stupid game and painful game, it's a game. If we talk about real fight, real fight, you are, an, you are uh, quiet, you are not ready, you are, there is no warm up and everything is normal, then something happens. And your, uh, your, uh, uh, your brain needs to switch very fast and react, and there is only three kind of reaction. Or you, you are freezing, you stuck, you don't know what to do, there is no answer. You are like a whole computer with too many information, you don't know how to treat it, and then you, you lose your control and you don't know what to do. The second is to uh, run away, because uh, your uh, surviving instinct tells you uh, run. You need to survive, so your body is full of adrenaline, uh, ready to, uh, to uh, protect himself, you have energy enough to uh, run away, so, and uh, you do. And the last one is to fight, because there is no choice. So your instinct tells you, you need to fight to survive, and this is absolutely not the same kind of uh, fighting mode than a tournament. You need to be really aggressive in a really short time, uh, because if the fight is long, you need more skills. If the fight is really, a real fight, it's like one, two seconds. This is where come from the Ichigeki. I told you last time, Ichigeki, one, one uh, attack. Uh, if there is two, three, four, this is not fight, this is sport. Uh, so just for you to understand. So where, what I'm telling you this now, because I will teach you uh, now, uh, something who can make us a little bit laugh, but uh, uh, in Japan, for example, we used to do this methodology a lot before the tournament. Uh, I'm talking with uh, Arthur and all the guys from my generation. Uh, it can help you. I don't know for you, but me, I never went to a fight like a smile in my face. I was always scared. Of course, you don't show it because uh, we are your children. But inside, I was scared because uh, it's a little bit scary to go uh, to fight someone who wants to knock out you. So, I don't know if you hear me because the, the, the screen is uh, freezing. Uh, yes, okay. You, uh, Ariel, can you hear? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you, Fabrice. Okay, thank you. Because you are the only one who moves. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, so, first we will work on the breathing because uh, when we are scared, as I told you before, the body prepares itself to uh, confrontation. So it tries to protect itself maximum. There is a huge adrenaline uh, shot because it prepares your muscle to uh, run away. That's why you feel uh, really, really nervous. And uh, the breeze is uh, shorter because uh, you will breathe uh, behind, uh, protected by, by your uh, uh, bones. So you will not breathe with the stomach. Because he, 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 your body knows if you receive a shock at this moment, it can be finished. That's why you feel this uh, uh, need of uh, more oxygen. So what we will do now, it's like, imagine I'm really scared about something. 
Uh, it can happen, it happened to me in the army, it happened to me in the tournament. You are really scared of the situation. So you stop a little bit and you will breathe like deep, 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 deep breathe. And what we are doing, it's like contracted like a sentinel. <laughs> exhale, like I want to exhale all the air inside my body. Like someone is, uh, imagine someone is catching you like this and press like, and all the air. <laughs> outside and in your mind imagine when you exhale you stand away you push away all the negative stuff and what will come after it's only fresh air like fresh water is it clear so i will show you it's a little bit strange uh, but uh, you will you will feel the energy immediately trust me so you will do it's exactly the same idea when you are doing the same thing you are compressing all your body. It's exactly the same idea, uh, but you will exaggerate more. Uh, you can do it and try. Try to do it and uh, feel uh, what happened. Yeah, go. I give you two minutes. <sighs> Sometimes there is also fighters who are uh, shouting, like, ah! who uh, excel everything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, do what you feel. And uh, feel how your, your head is a little bit uh, dizzy when you finish. And, uh, and then be uh, aware of what happened in your body. Uh, you feel a little bit lighter and different. So this is one uh, important trick. So now let's walk a little bit and I will give you uh, another one. So uh, you can continue. The next exercise, you know it very well, but I like it much. It was one of my uh, uh, favorite exercises to prepare my body because it's really connected to fat. It's only the plank. This one, you know it uh, by heart. Just this one and standing. You have to do this one every day. Not too low, be careful uh, with his back. Not too high, because you are not walking. You find your own way. Nobody is judging you, you walk for you. And feel you're good. And stay. That's it. Go. That's it for now. Just stand and relax. This is your fighter guard. Jean Paul, ça marche mieux sur le sol. <coughs> you can close your feet, you can open your hands, doesn't matter. Just stand. When you walk for you, don't uh, obligatory put the clock. You can walk without clock and uh, start to to listen your body, the minute you start to check in, it's a good sign. So you see, we not always need to move to uh, improve the, the body muscle. I'm watching you. Ah, it's perfect, as usual. <laughs> yeah. Dominic, I see only your butt. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, then look at me. Stand, keep the position. Keep the position. Keep your position and look at me if you're good. And then now we will do uh, this one. You know, very, very, very slowly. Going up and very, very, very slowly going down. Going up and going down. Okay, so my, my body is only doing this. Going up, going down, going up. But I'm doing slow, slow motion. 
and control and breathe. Contract your hands, contract your back muscle and breathe. This is your guard, this is your fighting guard. So you need to be strong. This is what will protect your head in case of shock. So relax and go. Relax and go. Okay, one more time. And relax. Stand up, relax. That's okay. So, next exercise to continue with is, uh, I don't know if you see me here, maybe. Okay. What is important, you see, this is my body axe. And I would like you to uh, imagine there is, a, I don't know, an egg between my chest here in front. And I want to break the egg like this. Okay, I'm breaking the egg. So I will exhale, breaking the egg in the middle between my two uh, muscles. And then there is an egg in the middle of my uh, back. Yeah, no, my omoplate. Omoplate. Well, uh, omoplate. Okay, these two bones, you know, triangle bones here, and I want to break it on my back. So you understand? I will do like this, break the head in front, like this, break the head on my back. Because uh, most of time we, have, we forget the thoracic cage, it's an articulation. It's not something stuck and straight. So you need to be flexible. More you will be flexible, less you will be fragile. This is the opposite of uh, most of people uh, think. They think if they are like a rock, they will be really strong, it's a mistake. Because if you are like a rock and you are not uh, mobile, all the energy will go in your body. And it's easier to break a board than to break a balloon full of water. So if you are like a board, every time I'm punching, it's painful and uh, it's uh, fragile. If you are like a balloon full of water, strong, strong balloon, but relax, you're absorbing and you're really uh, relaxed and you will be stronger. So you will do it 10 times, just inhale. So I'm pressing maximum, 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 maximum back like uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm the king of the world. Okay, open, 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 open. Then, <sighs> Exhale, 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 exhale. You do it 10 times. So one. Open, 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 open. Then exhale, 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 exhale. Okay, again. This is not a race, work for you. Uh, Agata, open the higher. Higher, 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 higher. Yes, you will feel you will open more. Push, 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 push your chest outside. Push, 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 push. Yes, you need it. Yeah, very good. Yeah, relax, relax. And relax, that's okay, relax. So, uh, one more time, this is an exercise I. I suggest you to do a daily because uh, you will feel totally uh, different and it will help you a lot uh, for your uh, skin. Because if, I, if my tuki is stuck here, it's not so strong. But if I can do only this little movement, what we'll do now, it's only my shoulder with moving. Okay, this is this uh, straight and my shoulder is moving forward. So this is what you will do now. You do five one way. Took, 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 and five the other way. Took, took. Only the shoulder is moving, Agatha. Only the shoulder. Only shoulder. Yeah, I know it's difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jean-Paul, uh, je vois que tes fesses. <laughs> C'est joli, mais faut être connaisseur. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about uh, uh, what we start uh, last week, Taiki. I would, I, um, no, uh, I would like to give you some trick to uh, destroy uh, the opponent. So every, when you start fight, every uh, fighter 
are ready. Normally, every fighter trains hard to arrive to this tournament, and they normally Kyokushin fighter never give up. Okay, so it will not be easy. And of course, everyone will want to finish fast because uh, because we want to finish fast because if it's long, it's painful even if you win. So, uh, but you have to see the opponent as a fortress. So sometimes you will succeed to finish fast, but in a way it's lucky. You try something, it works, it's finished. But in your mind, you must be ready to uh, a, a longer fight. Most of the knockout I did, I was the first surprise. Like, what? <laughs> you know, because uh, it was not really programmed. It, the more you train, more it become automatic, and uh, your body is doing its job. So what you will do now, you will do us. I'm using Abby. <laughs> uh, okay. One of the common uh, uh, punch and the dangerous punch is the shitaski. Shitaski or tateski to uh, the liver, okay, or to the plexus. Because uh, uh, the other side is then more complicated to knock out, but the uh, shitaski, it's a really uh, a powerful uh, punch. Uh, so it's, you know it, okay. <laughs> You hold this, receive a shita plexus or a liver. Okay, so what I will, uh, what you will do now, you will imagine you, you have a stick and you will just put a stick on the uh, um, punch line. So what I will do every time Avi is doing a shita ski, I just put my uh, my my fist on his uh, biceps in the air. Uh, that's okay, but you will see when you will do it in dojo, it's extremely painful. So be nice or look, what is, I don't know if you see, but slowly I'm doing this. Look, 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 look. I'm doing nothing, huh? you saw? Tick, 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 tick. It's really more it will be strong and powerful, more it will be painful for him. Uh, for a shodan, you can use the IQ, uh, where is the camera? Uh, yeah, uh, IQ uh, Gyaku, you know, the with the spike, uh, it's more more painful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <I get> that. <laughs> so in, in the muscle, okay, in a fight there is a rule, uh, specifically in a real fight. It's yin yang. Everybody knows yin yang. When you, I told you already last Saturday, when you attack a soft part, use a hard part. When you attack a hard part, use a soft part. That's why I told you, in a game, you are using fist to punch the face. In a seat, don't close your fist to punch the face. You will break your bones. It's more more efficient and, and uh, dangerous if you keep your hand open. Yin, yang, top, and the same. This is yin, it's soft, specifically because I don't train a lot. <laughs> It's soft and young, it's a hard. So always keep in mind, yin young. So it's hard, I'm using soft. It's soft, I'm using hard. It's just for knowledge. So now, what we do, I just want, slowly, I don't know if everybody see. Okay. Every time you will use this house, I will block. I can do it with open hand, like you can see. Here. Boom, boom. Boom. So, if there is a fighter who tries to punch you very strong here, don't try to block every punch, because if you are blocking, you give him the possibility to attack again. We boom, 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 I'm blocking, blocking, blocking. So now we just block at the beginning. I'm attacking this part. Everybody see? Tell me if you understand. This part. And I'm attacking this muscle. So every time he's punching me, took, took. Took, took, I can attack the second one. You will see after one or two punch, you will stop to do shitaski. Uh, so now move and imagine, imagine the opponent try to do shitaski. Most of the time, uh, liver, liver side, so the right side, even for the left hand, it's here, liver and plexus. So imagine he's attacking here, I'm here. So every time he's attacking, boom, I'm blocking him, boom. Boom, I, I give a kind of shitaski in his biceps, this uh, biceps muscle. So, yeah, move, move. Opposite move. side, 
for Sorry? block. It's always the opposite side when attack, we use the opposite uh, side or the uh, same side. It's not always, but it's easier because uh, the attack line is something like this. So if I'm attacking this line, there is more chance to miss or not touch exactly what I want. But if you succeed, it works too. Doesn't matter. It's just okay. easier to close. Oh, because, thank you. Uh, because I will answer more. Because the, the next step, you can punch the uh, clavicula. Okay, this muscle. So when you will attack, boom. And the trust me, you will do only what? <laughs> So the, you stop directly the clavicula, but now we are working on the muscle. Oh, I hope I answer. Yeah, walk, close, back, boom, boom, boom. And it's not something with energy, it's just like a stick. I put a stick in his web. More he will punch strong, more he will uh, get damage. <clears throat> But you will test when you will go back to Dojo and you will tell me. Okay, one minute more, accelerate a little bit, turn around. It's not a physical training, so make it a little bit uh, like in a fight when you were walking like this. Turn around, boom, 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 block, boom, boom. Imagine it's a really strong opposant. When you do shadow, always keep in mind your opponent is strong. You don't do shadow against a weak person. You do it against stronger person. So you have to. Jean Paul, va pas trop loin. C'est pas un shitaski. C'est pas un shitaski. C'est juste comme si ton point est bien se mettre dans la direction de ton objectif, c'est le biceps. Tu dois juste mettre un point sur sa ligne. C'est le cercle et le point. The circle and point. Okay, stop it. Relax. I give you another trick. Abby. Remember, this is a very strong opponent. So I, I don't succeed. Specifically me, uh, I was not so good with this. Uh, but you teach, uh, you teach better what you were the less good. Why? Because you work step by step to make it. And for me, legs was always natural. So it's more difficult for me to teach legs because it was a natural. So imagine he's really strong and he blocks everything. And uh, I sometimes enjoy myself. So I will just change my mind. The good fighters are smart fighters, except me. But the others, normally, they are good and smart. So I will twist, change my mind. Because I don't succeed to touch him, I will not destroy him. I will destroy the guardians. And the guardians are his uh, arms. So now, instead of trying to touch Abby, I will punch his arms, and specifically the inside part. So I will do hook in those soft muscles. And this is all the uh, finger uh, controller, OK? If I punch here, his hand will automatically uh, open. You, you understand what I mean? This part, this is the yin part. Remember I told you, if you want to know what is yin yang, uh, took the uh, Leonardo da Vinci uh, man, and all the light part, all the part in the sun are the yang part, all the part in the shadow are the yin part, okay? So it's easy for you to remember. This is shadow, it's yin. This is a... Uh, in the light, it's young, it's strong. Shadow, yin, strong, young. Okay, so now what I will do, I will every time do my hook on my attack in his guard. It's very, very painful. So one more time in dojo, be careful, because if you succeed and you win, of course with the kento, always with my kento. So sometimes it's not so conventional uh, punch, but trust me, it's really efficient. Boom, boom, boom. And every time you will move on, boom, 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 boom. After a second, you will start to, okay? Yala. So now you do your shadow. Sometimes you imagine you are blocking the attack and then you are destroying his, uh, in his guard. 
This toy is gone. This toy. I got that. Twist your, twist your uh, hips. Boom. To give energy. Boom. Yes. Yeah, close your fist. Close your fist. Yes. You cannot fist uh, with the open uh, hand. Yes. Régis, tu n'as pas ta femme. Non, profite pas pour ta... Ne profite pas pour taper ta femme, hein, j'ai vu. Et faire croire que c'est un accident. Ok, turn, turn, boom, boom. Ok, top, let's move on. I told you, it's not physical. I hope it's not bored for you. Uh, I just try to give you some tips. Uh, the next one, uh, I, I like it very much too. It's, I will use my, uh, my uh, okay. I will change the axe of the power, of the force. This is also a physical law. Uh, imagine now I have an axe. His fist and mine are connected and the axe is here. So now the only stuff who can turn is my elbow. So every time, because there are many fighters, specifically uh, heavy weight, they are pushing like this. Okay, push me. They are fighting like this and they push and it's a lot of energy for us. Uh, first, if someone is pushing you, just turn. Okay, don't accept the, the, the confrontation. It's an ego fight and it's a wasting of energy. You want most of fighters who are pushing, it's because uh, or they, they don't know what to do or they are scared so they come very close because they don't want to be uh, hit. So the minute they push, turn. The push turn, but because he obliged me to move and I'm a little bit lazy, it's never free. Okay, so if I decide to move, uh, I will move this way. So when I'm moving, I will use my elbow immediately in his uh, uh, ah muscle zone. Uh, looking for the name. Okay, the deltoid the part. It's like low kick for arms. Okay, so every time I'm moving, boom, it's not free. Boom, I will, you see, you don't hear, but I can tell you, it's, ah, okay. I'm moving, elbow in a deltoid, moving, boom, moving, boom, elbow in a deltoid, elbow in a deltoid, boom, elbow, you see, every time I'm moving, there is a elbow attack in his uh, deltoid part. It's really painful. And use the spike part. One more time, yin yang, if you are breaking board, Never attack with the spike part because you will break this part. But if you are uh, attacking human body who is mostly fragile, use the spike. It's really painful. Yeah, walk. Now you combine the three stuff you know already. Blocking the fist, tuk, 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 tuk. <laughs> then turn, boom. Then destroy the gap, boom. And mix. Find your own uh, cocktail. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I suggest you after the class, if there is some stuff you like, to write somewhere, and then you could work later for you. Don't do like uh, I did when I was young, I, I thought, yeah, I will remember, but you remember nothing. So maybe you learn something, write it, then you could work quietly. Okay, next uh, exercise. Uh, I will show you with Avi, but we start to work on it last Saturday. I have to go. Uh, it's uh, always scary to, uh, to uh, we always uh, scared to receive a uh, mawashi in the face. 
it's normal. So one more time, if he's attacking my Wajiguri and I'm blocking a uh, hard way, which sometimes important because I show him, hey, I'm here. It's like psychological fight. But the problem is, I also receive uh, energy in my heart. And as you know, Kyokushi tournament, it's not only one fight. It's uh, many fights all along the day. And if you arrive to second and third fight totally broken, it's a little bit uh, not so smart. So, one more time, you will use your bodyguard. My bodyguard is my shoulder. And now, I will use my hands. Remember, we did it. As I want to make my hair, uh, uh, I want to, to look nice. So, hey, I put my hair nicely. So, this is exactly what I will do. I'm here. And when he's attacking, I let the mawashi pass over. I don't block the mawashi. This is my eyes. The minute the mawashi will touch my hand, he will continue, pass over, and let it go. Okay? You can use the second hand if you want for beginning. So it will be like this one and two. Hoppa. One, two. The second hand will arrive under and two. When you do the two, remember, you know it. Okay? I invented nothing, huh? <laughs> you know it, you know it. Okay, so when you receive the two, when it is the other side, other way, one and the two, number two, don't push away the leg, don't push the leg far away. Why? Because you give him energy, you send him back energy, he will use it against you. You understand what I mean? So I, I will show you one more time. He's attacking. One, and if I send too much energy here, he will use it against me. But I'm stupid because I'm the one who gives him energy. But if you send the energy to the ground, it means one, and now I'm sending the energy to the ground, 45 degrees to the ground. You see, there is a moment, one, two, three seconds, one second, two seconds, he's totally uh, stuck. And this is exactly the moment I will uh, try to knock out him. So is it clear? I'll show you one more time. I'm here. One, I don't block, I let it go. There is no risk because now I'm like a house with the roof. It will pass over. This is the Jodanuke. This is your Jodanuke. That's why in Kyokushin we don't do Jodanuke like in Shotokan, for example. It's not straight because there is no sense. That's why it's a little bit like a roof. Like there is no snow is falling on my roof and the snow go on the ground. If it's flat, I receive all the shock in my heart. So I'm using my heart like a, a reflector. He's attacking, strong, strong, attack strong, very fast and strong, fast and strong, but bam, no energy, I'm really relaxed. Limit, I'm drunk, like, uh, uh, uh. he's attacking, Hop. it's passed over, no energy. Don't spend energy to uh, block or escape. So now one, boom, and the two, go on the ground. And then you can do whatever you want. Okay, it's difficult to train alone, I know. So no, you can uh, stand up, no need to stay on your knee, Sasha. <laughs> Even if I like it, when you're on your knee. <laughs> uh, so now imagine one more time, you are uh, fighting, blocking, boom, attacking his guard. Boom, escaping, then Mawashi. Oh, boom, boom, you block, then you can find something behind this. Start slowly, then make it uh, more realistic after. So, yeah, go. Fabrice, avec cet exo-là, tu peux enchaîner avec un Ushiro, ça passe bien. Tu peux enchaîner avec ce que tu veux. C'est pour ça que je n'ai pas donné de, de consigne spéciale. C'est chacun avec ses, ses ressentis. Mmh. Attends, on enchaîner avec ce qui te semble le plus, euh, le plus pertinent. Ok. 
<coughs> yeah, c'est bien ça. Ok, let's move on. I know, I know, I'm going fast. I talk a lot, you don't move that much, but I hope tomorrow there is no glass. I hope it will take some time for you and uh, just uh, mix all the glass you will get this week. So now, the same idea, but from my game. And uh, my game, of course, it's a really dangerous kick. And uh, you will see there is not so many fighters who use it uh, from the beginning of fight, except girls. And uh, uh, I don't know exactly why, uh, but I like it because uh, mostly the women use it very fast and men start mostly with low kick and uh, uh, more quietly. But uh, Margaret is a really, really uh, strong and uh, efficient kick. So now I will not teach you Margaret. I will uh, give you a tip to uh, escape from Margaret. So when you will uh, stand the Margaret, there is many possibilities. You all know many possibilities. I can block, I can hit and make on the side, I can slide, uh, many, many, many combinations. But what we will do now is to hit his energy. How I will do that? I will imagine his leg is like a huge tiger. And I will say, I want to caress the tiger. So why I'm using tiger? Because if it's a cat or a, a dog, you can do a little bit like this. But imagine it's a real tiger. You will caress him, but <laughs> I'm not so sure. So I'm really gentle. That's why I'm using the tiger idea. So he's attacking and caress the tiger. I'm just eating his energy. Yin, yang. Yin, yang. So one more time. And you see, nothing happened. And one more time, he's attacking me. And look, if I don't block, he will touch me. You see? Ah, that's the second thing I said. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just doing a circle. I'm using my circle. 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 Okay? I'm inventing nothing. I just show you some tips you already know. So he's attacking slowly. First, I put my I put my hand on his knee. I don't slap the knee. If you slap, there is energy connection. It will be painful and it will not stop this. Yin yang. More he is aggressive, more I'm gentle. So I'm putting my hand on his, on his knee, and then I caress all the way until the end of his uh, foot. Okay, I'm doing the circle. So one more time, I'm here, he's attacking up, and then you see I'm really close. I can continue the circle. I'm here, boom, boom, and continue the circle. I'm like a wave, I can use another uh, analogy. Imagine the sea. There is the, the sea is doing like. This is exactly what you're doing. Ooh, the sea going back. Then you come back, leave, come back. I hope it's clear. I like cartoon uh, mind. <laughs> uh, okay, so one more time, you are fighting. The guy is doing a magie, absorb, come back, tic, 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 then no, boom. Then do something, then boom, move, do whatever you have in mind. Start to mix everything. Thirty seconds more. Then your bubble. <clears throat> Relax your shoulders. Relax your shoulder. Elastic, not muscle. Elastic. Boom. Elastic. Don't no Keep your arms up. Yes. This is your uh, hard drive protection. 
Okay, let's move on. So remember, we did this. Okay, let's uh, stand up. Now let's make a real Kyokushin. What I'm calling real Kyokushin? It's a Kyokushin non-competition Kyokushin. If you are a competitor, a fighter, don't train too much the Kyokushin global. Now it's not the time. You will do it after because uh, it's dangerous if you do it during the tournament. So, but if you are not a competitor, start to open your mind. We are doing martial arts. We are not doing sport. This is not only tournament uh, stuff. Uh, if we learn shote, shuto, koke, naito, uh, there is a reason. So you have to open your mind and continue to train in uh, different stages. There is technique, there is kata, there is a gazillion of stuff on the side of a uh, tournament. Tournament is important because it's building your uh, fighting spirit and it teaches you about yourself. But it's not a finality. It's only a, a part on the way, on the martial art way. You must not stop because you stop martial art uh, tournament. Your tournament is important. In my opinion, you cannot wear a black belt if you never did the tournament. There is no sense. You don't know the meaning of, uh, of fighting uh, someone want to knock out you. So, okay. So now, what we will do, we will exactly use the same technique as we did, but imagine he will attack with a hook. I will not do a psychology course about the fight today, but just to tell you, most, uh, I would say 99% of the attack in the street uh, with a hand are circular. Why they start circular? It's really, really rare someone will attack direct. Most of them, they will attack with huge circle. Why? Because the brain choose the uh, best ratio. The best ratio between touch my objective and not to be uh, touched. So for my brain, there is more possibility to uh, give damage if it's circular and far than if I'm doing straight, because if I miss, it can uh, counter strike. Is it clear? That's why, of course, nobody thinks about it, but it's natural. You can check now on YouTube. If you look at uh, street fight, you will see 99% of street fight start with a huge uh, hook. I, I don't use always or never, because if you use always or never, you close the discussion and you close the mind. Keep your mind open. That's why I say 99, because there is always exception. But let's uh, talk about the uh, biggest part. He will do a huge, open your hand, he will do a huge, imagine he want to slap me very strong. Wow, I didn't do the cleaning, the dishes, uh, normal. So normal, he slapped me, slap, boom, okay. If I block like uh, uh, Uchi or Uchi UK, boom, uh, it's painful for me. If he is really strong, uh, imagine I'm a girl, like 50 kilograms, he's 100 something kilograms. If I block like this, there is a huge chance I will fly away. Even if I block, it's painful. But, so, what I will do is exactly what you did before. I will put the roof on my hard drive. So, when they will attack, I will just do like I'm uh, doing this. And to be sure it will not be stuck, I relax my knees. So, I'm like a. Uh, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Close the button. Um, Ariel, what's the English name for CAC? Okay, you know, uh, there's something on the water with floating. Balloon, imagine a balloon on water with floating. This is I'm a balloon. Imagine you are uh, like a balloon floating on the sea. So I'm totally floating. My shoulders are floating, my head is floating, and my knees are like uh, floating. I mean, I'm underwater. Is it clear? So when it will attack slow motion, I will let it go, and then my body will go down. I'm floating here. Okay? I will do it one more time slow motion. Whoop. First, I'm scared. So the normal, uh, the normal reaction when you're scared your brain wants to protect himself. So whatever you're doing that martial arts, if you are really surprised, you will do this. Okay, you can see people when they are beating in the street, naturally they do this. 
because the head chef it's your brain and your brain wants to protect himself you don't care about your body so so i'm doing this let it go and that's it so we'll do it really fast i'm here very for look with fast boom so you can see him he really want to slap me <laughs> so now i'm relaxed let it go relax let it go then for black belt or fighter with more experience do it slow motion let it go use the same heart for others let it go attack with the other heart doesn't matter just don't don't let someone uh, attack you for free it cannot be free we are kyokushin we try not to fight we are peaceful people but we are peaceful warriors it mean i don't want to fight please don't fight too late you fight you get the present you cannot accept to be beaten for free so one more time slow motion for pass over and fine combination and imagine it could be exactly the same for mawashigiri is doing mawashigiri pass over avi <coughs> avi and flexibility it's uh... okay that's why i'm on my knee <laughs> Yeah, pass over and counter strike. Exactly the same idea. Yala, work for you. Move. Imagine pass over counter strike. Don't block. Let it go. Let it pass. Yala, Piot. Move. Yeah, yeah. Dominic, turn, don't stay on the line. Move. Every time he's attacking, move. Turn around, turn around. Yoki is a circular style. We are not staying on line. A circle, yes, very good. Circle, circle, turn around. Very good, very good. Okay, so you will work for you and I will show you. Imagine he's doing this, I can do this. This is coaching God, huh? Now I will show you the rest because now you know the soft part. I will show you Yin Yang. He's attacking me. He, sorry, here. He's attacking me. I'm here and this arm broke his arms. Okay, he pass over, I uh, do a hook, he's inside. And now this one will join this one. If I do it really fast, his elbow will say bye bye. Huh? So don't do it, but just to show you, I'm just like, that's why I told you turn around, turn around, turn around. I'm like, uh, I'm turning around my axe. So he's attacking. Now my shoulder, look. Look, my shoulder will go on his elbow. And if I block him very strong, boom, the elbow will crash. Yeah, you, you saw, or is it good? So I will show you one more time. Okay, pass over, block. And now look my shoulder. Here, my shoulder goes on his uh, elbow. If I want, I can slap his bull bull here. Okay, boom, uh, make it uh, down. And then if I want, I can break his uh, elbow. Now, if I do like this, I will, I will not, it's really painful. If I go to the ground, look his body. He will go to the ground. I can do whatever I want with him now. It's not a question of power. It's a question of biomechanical. I don't want you to use the power. I want you to use your brain and the biomechanics, the physical law. The good fighter, the smart fighter, I told you, use biomechanics, use uh, the power, exchange the, the axis of uh, energy and start to think. Uh, if you are a little bit uh, stupid and not technique, you will use only power. But it's good when you are 20. Then we become older. So you need to find something a bit different. I don't want you to do this now, it's just for your knowledge. Let's finish the class with a little bit of uh, physical, of course. Uh, we will do <coughs> uh, Ross, Ross Emrit, uh, uh, 
wow, very difficult Saturday morning. My brain is uh, <laughs> uh, one. Uh, we'll do twice. It's three minutes work, one minute rest, three minute work, then you are free. Okay. So we I will make it really simple. So we will not waste energy on what next. We will waste energy on the the cycle. The cycle is really easy. We will do 30 seconds uh, burpees. So remember, go straight, uh, my leg like this. If you want to make it uh, harder, do a push up. Okay, then your legs under your shoulder, a little uh, boom, boom. Okay, 30 seconds burpees. Then 30 seconds mountain, uh, mountain jack. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, mountain climber. Okay, so I'm here and just this one. The simplest, simplest one. Then jumping jack, like this. Then burpees again, 30 seconds. Then mountain climber again, 30 seconds. And finish with this one. Okay, nothing uh, crazy. Is it okay? Every 30 seconds I will tell you, and you switch. Then we have one minute rest, and we do it again. Again. Three, two, one, Jimmy. <clears throat> <laughs> Change, mountain climber. Change, jumping jack. Breeze, breeze. Sasha, is it Islam next to you? I cannot see. Ah, Serena and Islam. Change your piece again. If you are tired, don't do the push up, but keep the rhythm. Change this one. Oh, no, 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 uh, mountain climber. Sorry, sorry. Mountain climber. Change this one. Control your uh, body weight. Don't uh, don't uh, pack the ground with your knee. Specifically, if you don't have a mattress. Yeah, ten seconds. Yeah, man. Breathe, be 60 seconds, relax.
Imagine you just finished a fight. And maybe you will fight again in 40 seconds. So breathe, relax yourself, relax your mind. Don't parasite your brain with the negative thought. I'm not tired, it's not difficult. My training is harder than this fight. I will not give up. I'm very strong, I cannot be weak. It cannot impact me. My body is like stone with elastic. Okay, good news. We have five seconds more to rest. Yeah, go! Burpees! Go, go, go! Mountain climber. Jumping Jack. Don't give up. <laughs> Very good, Dominic. Arié, the best. <laughs> uh, but I got a little bit faster, Arié. Be careful. <laughs> uh, Piotr, ah non, no, Piotr. Ça va être là, ça va être là. Chris! Ah. Chris, tout là. Change! Mountain climber, last one! Chris, excellent job! Hey, accelerate, accelerate, five seconds, three, two, one, change! Now, yeah, the last one! Last one, last one, don't give up! I got that jump higher. You are a light like a jump, 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 jump. Yes. Very good. Yes. Oh. Regis, excellent. Jump, 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 jump. 10 seconds. Very good. Chris, jump. Serena, higher. Stop it. Relax. Of course, normally you could do this minimum three times. Uh, it gives you a little bit the notion of uh, how tired you are after one fight. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoy. I hope you learn something and uh, you appreciate, even if it's less physical than usual. I try to give you uh, all my uh, small knowledge. And uh, if you have any question, feel free to write me whenever you want. But not this afternoon because now we will go to ride and do a huge trip, wonderful trip. Oh, and thank you to Avi because I'm using his material. <laughs> Leo, Oz. Thank you very much. I love you. Yeah, with pleasure. Thank you. Oh, merci. Oz. Merci. Oz. Merci, Enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
Fabrice, can I ask you uh, one question? Yes, I can tell you. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Super nice, super nice. Fascinating class. My pleasure. Bye bye. Bye. Fabrice, can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah, good uh, you, you talked about the psychology of uh, fight. Yeah. So, what happens uh, to you, okay, for your experience when uh, you're inside the match? And your legs don't then uh, go up, and your uh, your fist also. You know what I mean because of the stress. Yeah, uh, it never happened. To me. What do you do uh, for that uh, thing? It never happened to me because of stress, but it could happen because of uh, not good stamina. Uh, when you're when you're in middle of fight, it's really rare the you are tired enough not to use your tools. No, it usually the, happens when uh, in the beginning of the fight, when it's, you know, it's... Uh, ah, the beginning of the fight. Yeah, this is the most complicated part. Uh, that's why most of the uh, fight in a tournament starts slowly, even in box. The first round is uh, like uh, touching and analyzing, because this is the, the most uh, difficult part. This is the real difference between real fight and sport. Yeah, yeah. Real fight... It's exactly this part. Uh, uh, so uh, I don't have really secret. My secret was what, what I did you uh, before to excel uh, all the bad energy. Like <laughs> it helped me a lot because you feel your body more light and relaxed. Uh, then the real secret is to train good. If your training is good, if you train hard, if you don't lie to yourself. When the fight arrives, you are confident. Even if you never feel ready, because uh, there is no fighter arrived like they think they are ready, because we always think we could do more. Yeah. But mostly, if you are honest with yourself, if you train hard, the fight will be, you know, train hard, fight easy. It's exactly, exactly that. Train hard. Uh, what helped me in tournament, specifically when I was young fighter, I thought to myself, this guy cannot enjoy me as long as my uh, friend do every day. Again, again, you're uh, breaking up again. What did you uh, tell me? To my mind, the opponent cannot make me suffering as I'm suffering every day with my partner. Okay. So if the training in dojo is really hard, it make your uh, tournament easy. You will not have a revelation the tournament day. The training is before. Uh, I answer your question or? Yeah, 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 you answer my question. Thank but you. of course, now we are talking about sport part. If we talk one day about the state part, the, the, the war fight, it's a different state of mind. It's a, there is no connection. You can be really good in a dojo and really weak in the street. And the opposite you can be really uh, good in the street and really weak in a dojo. There is no connection. So. <laughs> Uh, it's a different state of mind, it's a different way of uh, thinking. But yeah, we, will talk, uh, we will talk about it uh, <laughs> in your photo next week. Yeah, my kid is uh, calling me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dominique, I hope you enjoy. I see you are really serious. Very Thank good. you, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I really like Thank the training. You. Thank you very much. I'm learning all the time, taking notes. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. <laughs>